ball handling to play at the next level. Reynolds to the rim, high off the glass and good. And Scotty Reynolds with the first four points of the game for Villanova. Expect too much from him, but beautiful drive by London Warren. And you see Corey Fisher, despite his size, being able to get to the rim. The kick out, Reynolds fakes, foul line jumper, got it. And we're tied at two, Scotty Reynolds. And a feed down low, Pena, a little jump hook. Nice shot, soft touch. Yeah, he's just really improved his offensive game this year. Had a double-double. And now Stokes. Good three-point shooter, the Bayonne Bomber, as they call him. And he can hit it from deep. A lot of pressure from Dayton Fisher. Look down. Wow, oh, nice pass. And he finds Sutton. Mickey Perry now with the basketball. Perry to the rim. Shot blocked out of bounds by Antonio Pena. And there's a timeout on the court. Corey Fisher doing a great job of penetrating. And down low, able to find the redshirt freshman, Maurice Sutton. Villanova leads. It's important for him as a backup point guard to play well. He struggled yesterday in and out of the lineup, played well towards the end of the game. They just need him to take care of the basketball and not open jump shots, just like Taylor King. Kevin jumps out to help. Fisher, foul line jumper, got it. Corey Fisher, his first two of the game. They can't get teams outside of these tournaments like Villanova. They schedule the top teams outside of Big Six conferences. They've already beaten Creighton. They're gonna play George Mason in Boston and really set themselves up in terms of putting up a... After testing the waters, pulled his name out. Gives off here to Fisher. Fisher to the rim, left-handed shot and one. Corey Fisher using the quickness to get to the goal. Six points and a chance for a three-point play. Well, Fisher is an outstanding penetrator. You can see that he has great handle, has the ability to strength despite his size to be able to get contact and finish inside the lane. And box situation is looking to shoot the ball from the outside. Reynolds looking for some help as he's pressured. Armwood, his first two of the game. Frank Martin's team. Corey Fisher spinning. The left hand wow. shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Nine points for Fisher and a chance for another three point play. And see, once again, he is an outstanding penetrator, and he is really going by Nicky Perry anytime that he wants to. And despite his size, he has the ability to finish, create contact, and get to the free throw line. You see Coach Brian Gregory make a change. A lot of teaching. Still trying to find out what your team's all about. Well, he's doing a lot of teaching with his front court players, with Maurice Sutton and Muftar Yarrow and Isaiah Armwood. Those are the guys that are learning to play on both ends of the floor. And you talk about Taylor King, his ability with size to knock down perimeter jump shots, that gives them so much more room to penetrate for Corey Fisher and, and, and Scotty Reynolds. Big block there by the freshman Sutton. And now a foul on Hillsman. Dominic Cheek goes to the Good rim. Move. Nice move as he spins it home. By nine. Some pressure here. Warren up ahead, right. And a turnover. Villanova the other way. Fisher. And a feed down low. Pena off the glass and good. Antonio Pena. So right now on the bench, that is big. Pena wandering into the lane. Sutton, little baseline jumper, soft touch. You can see these big guys starting to develop. By the smallest guy in the court, Corey Fisher. Cheek into the lane, off balance. It'll go. Oh. Corey Fisher hands off to Cheek, and Cheek. Able to draw the contact, and the freshman will go to the line. He's got four points. Well, the freshmen are playing so much better from yesterday to today, playing with so much confidence on the offensive end. We already talked about Maurice uh, Cheek, uh, uh, Maurice Sutton, his ability to score underneath the basket, and Dominique Cheek knocking down perimeter jump shots. 
Wide open three, Taylor King got it. Nine points for Taylor King. Struggle like here tonight against a Villanova team that is extremely versatile on the offensive end. Taylor King with the miss, gets his own rebound and kicks out to Fisher. And now King a three. Wow. His fourth three of the game. 12 points for the transfer from Duke. Fabrizius can continue to knock down perimeter jump shot. Dayton's going to continue to, to compete. They're not going to take a deep breath, and this is what Villanova has to do to continue to play hard and what has gotten them the lead in. Good move by Dominic Cheek.